Hey guys, I'm Joey Fernando and welcome back to another vlog. This vlog, it's a little bit different, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very different. And the reason is, um, this marks the one year anniversary from the day that I started to lose weight. So a lot of you don't know this, but one year ago today, I was 100 kilos. 100 kilos works out to be about 16 stone, 16 and a half stone. I was really big, I was super unhappy. And I wanted to share with you guys how I did it and how I feel now after achieving my fit to fat transformation. So the reason I've this sort of spurred this on is because A, it's a, a year since I was at my like largest, my fattest. Um, but B, I was rummaging through some clothes the other day and I found all my old suits that I used to wear when I was that big. And I was gonna show you guys those later on. But in the meantime, I wanted to just tell you about it all and how I did it because I was one of these people that always thought, you know, oh, there's people around me losing weight, you know, friends friends and people um, in my sort of outer circle, shall we say, of, of friends um, that were like losing weight and and saying to me, oh, I feel amazing, I feel really good. And, and I was just there getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was horrible actually, if I'm honest. And I always thought, I'm one of these people that's never gonna lose the weight. I'm never gonna be like these other people. I was born to be, or well, this is me, I'm just a bit chubby. I'm a chubby boy. I'm 16 stone and that's it. I'll just be known as Joe the Chubster. So I apologize because this vlog is a little bit more serious than the last bunch of adventures and mad things I've been up to. But I just thought it'd be a good one to share because um, I, I feel like mentally amazing now. I feel so good after having done it. I'm much more confident in myself. Um, you can go to the shops and try clothes on and you're like, I like it, but I'm not gonna buy it because it doesn't, like beforehand I go to a shop and I try something on and I would try to get big clothes that would hide the fact that I was fat. And now I can go and wear like slightly more slimming clothes and I will buy clothes because I like them, not because they, they hide the fat on me. So I'm sort of my fashion wise, I guess has changed. I am wearing Holly's hoodie right at the moment. But hey, it's comfy, okay? But yeah, mentally I'm much more sort of there and happy. The reason I did it, so um, the reason I decided to lose the weight, uh, a friend of mine, Matt, who trained me actually, and he gave me the, the sort of diet plans to follow, he said to me, Joe, I'm gonna give you one opportunity. You got one opportunity and I'll train you and I'll help you, but that's it. Um, he said, you're sort of very, you're overweight, it's dangerous and I wanna help you. Hugely appreciate what he did because he stuck by me and he said, right, let's do this. And we trained together and he pushed me and it was just what I needed. I needed that kick up the arse. So anyway, guys, I wanted to show you what I looked like uh, in September last year. So this photo was taken in August. I was in France, I was in South France with my family. I think we just arrived or we, we were just either, we just got to France or we were just leaving. Uh, but this is the photo, I look like Michelin man. You can see it, we did a re remake this year because I went back to the same place in France and we remade the photo uh, after having lost all the weight. But on the left there, I was 100, I was 100 kilos, just over 100 kilos. Uh, and on the right hand side, I was, I think I was about 75 kilos. So at that point I'd lost 25. The most I'd lost was 29 kilos and that was in seven months. So this before and after of that, um, that seven month sort of period, you can see the sort of definition in my back there. Um, and the lightest I got to was 72 kilos. So I've put on a bit of weight since then, but that's all right, that's fine. It's okay to, to fluctuate and put on a bit of weight now and again. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the sort of before and afters. I was training hard. It was like six days a week of cardio and six days a week of weights. So I'd wake up in the mornings, get up, get to the gym for six o'clock do my cardio on the Stairmaster. So if you guys haven't tried it, the Stairmaster is the absolute machine. It's insane, like it's a fat burner 101. But everyone says it, it's not just about the gym and the training, it's also massively to do with your diet. Um, so if you wanna lose weight fast, you need to change your diet up. So I was on a, a low fat, a relatively low carb diet and I'd eat my carbs around sort of training times. Um, so all my mornings were fasted cardio. I wouldn't eat anything until one o'clock um, midday when I'd have my lunch. And I'd have sort of five small meals throughout the day. Uh, and my last meal would be an hour before bed just to give your body a sort of a chance to digest the food. Massively changed everything um, to do with my habits. And But mentally, that's, that's the biggest change I noticed. So despite physically the change you can see, it was my mental state. So I was far happier 
um, I could go out and do things and and I'd feel sort of good about myself. I go and like the biggest thing was trying clothes on. Like I said earlier, like trying clothes on for me was a massive, massive thing. I used to hate shopping because it made me feel quite insecure and I try and hide my fat, terrible man boobs, I must admit. Um, but yeah, after having lost the weight, I felt great. So anyway, let's go and try these uh, clothes on, these old suits. It's hilarious, you're gonna love this. So guys, I've just been to the wardrobe and I've just picked out some of the old suits I used to wear. This is crazy, like honestly crazy. Trousers, Th these were, these were a 38 inch waist. 38 inch waist. Look at the size of them, you can fit two of me in them. That's massive. Another set of trousers, another 38 inch waist. That is crazy. The jacket was a 42 regular. I never used to wear it. Like, I used to buy cheap, I, I just bought cheap clothes as well. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get bigger and it's gonna get worse. It was horrendous. Old shirts. I was in large, large shirts for everything. Um, what's this? Yeah, it's a large, large shirt. Mental. Let's try some of this stuff on, I reckon. Oh my. God. Guys, this is mental. Let me put this jacket on as well. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at the, the trousers. Can you see, like, that's mental. Better do the zip up, not that that's gonna help at all. I, I look like, I don't know, I look like some sort of don't know, some like 1960s car salesman. <laughs> oh, that's classic. The jacket as well, it's so massive on me. How about this shirt? Let's try this shirt on. With a t-shirt underneath. To be fair, not that bad. It does look offensive, I don't like that anymore. Oh, guys, this is a mental, look at that. Oh, so large. Just shows you, it's mental, isn't it? Proper salesman from the 60s, that's hilarious. Oh, hey, I feel amazing now. I feel so much better. Say you are struggling with sort of weight gain um, or your weight, hopefully it will give you a bit of motivation because despite the fact I'm sort of laughing at the, the size difference, I haven't tried these clothes on for so long. Um, because I was buying clothes as I, as I came down, so I started off with like 38 and then I went down to 36 and 4, so I didn't just do a massive 38 to the sort of 32, I did stagger it down. I didn't really notice the weight loss as, as such until the sort of before and after pictures that I've shown you. Um, but this is crazy, like it's given me that kick that I think I needed. So like I said, I've put on a bit of weight recently, it's not too much. Um, at all, like nothing to worry about, because I know I can get, get rid of it again, but that's given me the kick that I needed to get down that gym and start working out, so, oh, I feel so good. I don't want to junk now, I don't want to junk food. I don't want to binge, I'm not interested. But that's crazy, just trying on those clothes just there, oh, mental. Guys, if you have got any questions that you want to ask or you want to comment, please comment, you know, ask me questions about it, ask me about my diet and, and the training plan. Um, and also like if you've had similar kind of stories where you've also been a massive um, massive transformation sort of fat to fit type um, type journeys I'd love to see them and I'd love to hear about it guys if you like the video I know it's a bit different it's a bit it's a bit more of like a heart to heart with you lot it's not as it's not an adventure that I've been on it's more of just like a this is me this is what I've been through I was 100 kilos last year now I'm sort of just under 80 kilos. Um, it's been a mad, mad journey. I hope you've enjoyed this video and just, yeah, like I said, just to see into my life a little bit more um, as opposed to sort of the adventures that I go on. But if you've liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully there's plenty on here for you guys to enjoy. Anyway, until next time, see ya.